So hello guys, welcome to the Web Technology Lab video. So this is a, this is the second part of your of your assignment number six video. So here we are going to discuss about registration form. So this type of registration form we are going to design in this video. So which will have these all fields. Okay. So for username, password, first name, last name, gender, class, and email. Then register and reset button. And there again it will have the hyperlink for uh, to the uh, for the login.html file. Okay, so we'll start with the code. So I'll create a new file in my Sublime text editor. So I'll save this file, okay, in my project directory. So I'll name with register.html. Okay, so in this file, I'll start with the HTML tag. Okay, this is my document structure, HTML document structure, where I'll put uh, type title that is registration form okay and then the other things that are the common things that is we'll use this these things that is bootstrap files and the meta tag that we need here i'll we'll put it into head tag okay so then we'll start with our form okay so before that i told you that there is a container okay so first we'll use a container so right here in comment that is container start okay so right here so i'll use the tag and which will use the container class here so this is the big box inside this you are going to place your all the elements all the html elements so inside this I, I, uh, I already told you that is we are going to use a panel here so I'm again using a div tag here so one thing that I will tell you here okay so div okay so in this div I'll use a class that is panel and then panel dash primary as I'm going to use a blue color okay so let's consider I'll change this with the other color that is danger okay so but for goodness we we'll use a primary because that is very nice color blue color okay so after this i'll use the next thing that is i want to put inside this panel that is i want to put panel heading here so class is equal to panel dash heading okay so what is the heading that is the registration form okay this is my heading that i want to use in in my form next i want to define that is panel body so i'll use panel dash body class and inside this i am going to use my form tag now so i'll use form tag here so in form tag i'll use form dash horizontal class because i'm going to use the horizontal form here and now I will start with the actual form content. Now the first content, first field is my username field. So that I will use, I will define the help of division tag again. So do that first use division tag and use form dash group class arrange it properly. And inside this I will use label tag now because I want to first give the username label here. So I'll use class control dash label because it has to be arranged properly. Now you can see that in this registration form, everything is properly uh, arranged here. Okay, it is in, in the line of this input field. Okay, everything is properly arranged and aligned. So make it properly aligned and arranged we should use control dash label class okay so i have used control dash label here and then i want to put it into a column that is called dash md dash two so i will use a two two width uh, here okay so i'll use two columns here for occupying my label and what is my label so my label is username so i'll use this okay then i'll put my next field that is uh, input field that is username field so where i have to put it into another column so i will use again call dash md dash 10 the remaining 10 columns are there so 10 columns will be used for the field okay 
tags i'll use here input tag so where i'll provide text type i'll use username name then i'll use class okay which class i'll use here that is form dash control why to use form dash control because i want to make it properly uh, i want to make uh, the proper padding and proper margin for that input file so that is that uh, css is defined in this form class that is form dash control and then i'll place placeholder so enter your username okay and then required a required attribute so to make that field mandatory okay so this is about your first field first line that is username and its input field now we'll go for next field so i'll copy and paste this simple code because that is the the same code i'm going to, i have to use just i will uh, change the field names label that is password okay then i'll change this input type text with password then this name with password and this hint with or this placeholder with enter your password okay so again i need third field that is first name so i'll again copy and paste the same code because nothing changed here just uh, the uh, names will be changed here so i'll use your first name okay then text will be same here type then here i'll use first name name then i'll change this username with first name okay again required attribute i will use the same thing i have to do for next fourth field that is last name i'll just change the names here that is last name here text type will be there this name i will replace with last name and this with this placeholder with last name so another next another next field that i i need here that is what is the next field just will check next field i need here that is gender that is the radio buttons i need here so i'll use your radio buttons now so uh, for that purpose i write a new code so i'll use division tag here class is equal to form dash group so inside this i'll use label that is again i'll use class control dash label then all dash md dash 2 and here i use gender label okay then here i can use the column that is call dash md dash 10 okay inside this i use again uh the input type that is input type equal to radio okay then name will be gender okay so that i will use here and here man okay the same okay so this i will put inside uh one thing that I, I can do here or don't need no need to use okay this i will copy and paste it and I'll write here female. Okay, so this I have put inside my next column. Now the next thing that I want to do here, okay, the radio buttons are used here. The next thing that I want to use that is what what is the next after gender I have to use I will use a drop down list so where I will use a, a class name that is F E S E D or B okay so this I have to design here so I'll use next okay I'll define next division class a division tag inside this again I'm going to use form dash group inside this I'll put again label where I'll put class label and I specify class that is control dash label and with your call dash md dash 2 okay after this I'll put one other division tag which will have the width again and column width so column dash md dash 10 but inside this I'll use a select tag okay so select box I have to create here so select 
tag will have again form dash control to properly arrange it and which will have option tag which will define the option so here i will write select class so same thing i will use here again option fe computer the same thing the same thing i will copy and paste here multiple times okay replace with fe with se then t and then p okay so this is drop down list that we have created within pub select tag now the next field that we need that is email id so again we'll copy and paste this code uh, this okay last name so we'll copy and paste this code right now we got no need to write new thing here we will copy and paste okay so after this division tag i will copy and paste and here i'll replace with this last name with email okay this text type is equal to my email then last name with okay, this email and then this with enter your email okay then we'll put what we have to put here mobile email we have to put register and reset button okay so we'll put register and reset button here so for that purpose we have to again use division tag okay so same thing i will use here so division tag class is equal to form dash group and then the same thing that we want to use here sorry stick okay so the same thing that we want to use here division we have to use here In division tag i use call, class that is called dash md dash offset dash two so i'll leave a two column margin and then i'm going to use call dash md dash 10 the 10 columns i'm going to use inside this i'll place my button code so button type is equal to submit and then class is equal to btn btn dash primary for blue color okay so here the register button will be used the second button i want that is the reset button so i'll copy and paste and I'll put reset button here sorry so reset button here i'll change this type with reset okay so this is about the buttons that we have used in our page now the next thing that i want to put here that is this hyperlink finally so that final hyperlink i will put here you see okay so i'll use here uh, oh okay we'll do one thing i will copy and paste the same code because this is having the same criteria so i'll just replace with this buttons i remove this and i replace with the label tag here so already registered already registered okay and then i'll put anchor tag i'll use your login.html url and here click here for login okay now it is completed now again see the form will not be properly arranged here so I'll again do one thing it is i will set as as our last uh, login form i have changed i have used the inline style there again i am going to use inline style in this panel okay so panel type first so style is equal to width so use your uh, 60% okay so then i'm going to use margin okay so I'll use six percent here from top and bottom 
and then auto for left and right. Now see, we'll see the output now. Whether it is properly or not, proper or not. So we'll go in browser, refresh this, and I will click on this hyperlink so that it will open my register.html file. Okay, now you can see it is properly visible now, but one thing is not happening here. What is happening? Okay, so everything is okay. Just here problem. Everything is working here. Okay. Just for gender, it is going up and down. Just we'll see one thing. Okay, what is wrong with it? Okay, just we'll we'll put we'll put that two radio buttons. Okay, put that both radio buttons in the label tag label tag again here I will use the label tag okay. label now we'll see no it is not right just do one thing, remove this, remove this, remove this, okay, here I will use radio plus, okay, now we will see whether it is properly visible or not, okay, now it is not good. is not cut so we'll again use other okay class is called radio okay so we'll create another box and in that box i'll put my this code okay i'll put my this code okay now you can see the output now you can see Sorry. Okay, good. Okay, so we'll keep it same. It is visible properly. Okay. So nothing no problem here. Okay. So already just a little bit. Okay. So it is properly visible now. You can see everything is visible here properly okay okay so this is about your registration form if you click on again this URL, it is again going to the login form if you click on register button it will ask for please fill out this field if i fill this now uh, it will go for the next field it will check whether it is uh, having a required attribute or not again it is checking it and it is saying please fill out this field so if I click on reset button, it will reset the whole form. You can see it is, it is reset, resetting the whole form. Okay, so the same condition for the other login form. If I click on login button, it is doing the validation. Okay, so this is about your assignment number six, where we have done the registration form and login form. Now again, you can make this application more interactive with the help of php scripting where you connect your these forms with the database and fetch your username and password or insert your username and password and other details on your database and access from it from the database uh, and verify it and then open the another home page okay so that you can do with the help of php okay just you have to connect these forms with your php scripting so this is about your assignment number six so thank you for watching my video so do subscribe my channel do share it and like it so we'll meet in next video so thank you for watching thank you for watching video again so bye bye